Okay. All right. So front end face off. We're going to be going over Angular 4, React, Ember, and then also Vanilla JS. So if I can get these slides to go here. All right. So I'm going to talk for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to hand it over to Kyle, who's going to start with Ember. And Kyle's going to start. It's all going to go uphill from there. Just remember that. So, <laughs> okay. All right, all right. All right, so agenda. I'm going to start by talking a little bit about us. I'm going to go over objectives. I'm, then I'm going to go over what we build. Then we're going to go through the walkthroughs. And then we have to say goodbye, as always. All right, so about us. So Kyle, there he is. You guys can see this, right? Cool. So Kyle is the current faculty director at Galvanize. He is pretty much uh, CJ and Brooks's boss. No, not pretty much. He is CJ and Brooks's boss. So um, I have known Kyle for about two years. He is loud, yet he has a very soft and caring heart. Um, he always reminds me to take a breath. Um, if I have any database or uh, questions about Agile, I will ask him. All right, so Brooks, I have known Brooks for, I don't know, what have we known, like four years? Something like that. Four or five years, too long if you ask me. But no, no. Um, so I remember, like, I, um, I'm a former lead instructor, so I, um, I taught G11, and I was sort of like, uh, I didn't have enough JavaScript help, so I baited Brooks to come in. And Brooks was basically TAing for the class, working for free, and all the students were like, dude, you should, you should apply at Galvanize. He applied at Galvanize. He bombed the interview, but... But, hold on, hold on, he, he, he didn't bomb the interview, but uh, the interview didn't go so well because it was mostly, I think it was mostly front end. Uh, but uh, the students loved him so much that they basically went to my boss at the time and they were like, you have got to hire this person. My boss was like, I don't know what to do. Like, he bombed or didn't do well at the interview, uh, but, he, but all your students want me to hire him. So they gave him a second chance and basically he just built a note app from scratch. And so... Uh, it's, it's been awesome. Um, yeah, hopefully that didn't make you look bad there, folks. But <laughs> um, and CJ, I've known CJ probably like about two years as well. Um, I guess CJ, CJ's probably has some like, uh, there's some students in here of uh, CJ's. But yeah, CJ is uh, also a lead instructor at Galvanize. Um, he's quiet, he's humble, um, yet his code packs a punch. Um, he amazes me every single day. Um, yeah, so that's, that's them. So I've known Michael Herman for a little while now. Um, yeah, I'm a former lead instructor. I taught three cohorts of Galvanize. I'm now a software engineer uh, for Galvanize. Um, I do like Radiohead a lot. Okay, so objectives. So hopefully by the end of this talk, you'll be able to build a CRUD app on the client side um, in Ember, Angular 4, React, and also Vanilla JS. Um, we're going to talk about the building blocks of each framework and hopefully go into the paradigms there. And look at that, I spelled paradigms incorrect. Um, terrible speller. But, um, and also we're going to compare and contrast that with um, Vanilla JS. And so hopefully by the end, you'll be able to answer that question which framework should I use? Okay, so the project. So Kyle built the uh, back-end Node Express app. So I'm going to go over it just uh, real quick. Um, so we have basically just a RESTful API here. Um, he called it BarkWire. And if this thing loads here, so you can see here, just an array of objects here. Uh, very straightforward. Charles Barkley, ha, ha, ha. But, um, and then you can access a single dog or single resource as well. So you have the user stories there. So as a lonely dog, I want to see all the dogs. So that's a get all. And then as a lonely dog, I want to be able to link to a specific dog. Um, and that's like your uh, get single of the resource. Um, we're also using a common style sheet. And did that load up? Got too many tabs here. Yeah. Uh, so here's the style sheet. Um, you want me to read each one of those? Uh, okay. All right. So common style sheets, and basically by the end, hopefully, all of our apps are going to look like this. 
So the goal is to create just a basic CRUD app um, on you know, the client side that connects to the Node Express back end. All we're really doing is the C in CRUD, so just the create, just because we only have 20 minutes each. All right, any questions on the, on the project or anything else before Kyle takes over? Uh, any other questions? What's that? Okay. All right. All right, the question is, how do we declare a winner? I have already declared a winner. Angular 1.6 and Redux is my favorite, so yes, Angular 1.6 and Redux do go together. Okay. UX? No? What? Hello? Okay.